Next up is just solving these equations, and you need to get x by itself. So in order to get x by itself, I would subtract 2 on both sides. So when I do that, those cancel out. So I'm left with 3x to the fourth equals 3. All right. Since this is 3 times x, the opposite is saying let's divide to get rid of that 3. So when I do that, 3 divided by 3 cancels out. So I have just a 1x to the fourth on that side. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the opposite of taking something to the fourth power is taking something to the fourth root. So I have to take the fourth root of both sides. And the reason why I know this is when we had x squared, right? If I have x squared problems, you square rooted. You did the opposite. If I have something cubed, right? If I have something cubed, you cube root both sides. So this is to the fourth. I fourth root it. Well, the fourth root of 1 is just 1, except here's what you need to remember. Whenever it is an even, right? Whenever it's an even root, you get two answers. You get the plus or minus. So this problem actually has two answers plus or minus 1 is the actual answers to this problem. Alright, so next up is this one. And since that's in parentheses, I know most of you guys sit there and say, oh man, do I have to distribute all, our, all this through? Well, first of all, this, once again, x to the fifth plus 3 to the fifth equals 32 is wrong. Okay, I have no idea which math teacher taught you guys something so weird, okay, when you were um, going through, but that is wrong, okay? You do not do that. Wrong, 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 wrong. You do not do that, okay? This problem is still simple, but it does take some time. Since all that is in parentheses to the fifth power, I can take the fifth root, right, of both sides, the fifth root of 32. When I do that, these cancel out, leaving me with just an x plus 3. And on this side, I have the fifth root of 32. There is no plus or minus because this problem is odd. Since that is an odd root, there's only one answer. And for those of you who don't know, the fifth root of 32, what number five times straight will give you 32? Well, it's actually very simple. That is 2. So x plus 3 equals 2. I would subtract 3 on both sides. So when I do that, those cancel out. So we end up getting x equals negative 1 as your answer. So x equals negative 1 as your answer. Taking a look at this, this problem is done the same exact way. It is the sixth power, so I need to do the sixth root of everything on both sides. So there is the sixth root. So when I do that, um, the 2x minus 7 uh, crosses out, uh, or sorry, the 6s cross out, all right, so that's gone. So I have a 2x minus 7 equals, because it's an even root, it is plus or minus the sixth root of 120. So the question is, is there some number that you can multiply 6 times that will give you 120? That's probably what you're wondering. Well, sitting here looking through it that you can multiply it six times, and no, there is not. But we need to see, can I simplify that? Can I find a sixth root of something when I separate those? That will work. Well, the sixth root of a number that would work might be a 64, but 120 uh, and doesn't go into 64. So basically the point I'm getting at is that is as simplified as you can make it. So to solve the rest of this problem, I can't do anything with that root, so I need to add 7 to both sides. And remember, whenever you're dealing with a plus or minus, right? whenever you're dealing with a plus or minus, the numbers that you add, they should go out in front of that plus or minus sign. So plus or minus the sixth root of 120. It says it's 2 times x to get x all by itself. I need to divide by 2 on both sides. So I'm going to divide that whole entire side by 2. So your official answer here is 7 plus or minus the 6th root of 120 all divided by 2. And there is your answer. 
Okay, and the last one here. Um, before I can set the problem up so it looks like something that we did um, in the last problem, let's get rid of this 10. So all I have is that uh, parentheses to the fourth power. So when I do that, I get rid of that, so I have 2x plus 1 to the fourth power equals 30. Now it looks just like the last problem. So it's to the fourth power, so I can do the fourth root on both sides. So I do the fourth root of 30. And when I do that, the fourth roots cancel out, meaning all I've left is a 2x plus 1 equals, since it's an even, right, it's a 4, it's an even, it's plus or minus the fourth root of 30. Okay, so I'm sitting here trying to think the fourth root of a number. Is that divisible by um, is that divisible by 30 in some way here? So I'm trying to sit here quickly, and nope, nothing is. So the fourth root is just the fourth root of 30. So I'm going to have to subtract one on both sides to get the answer by itself. And just so I can have some more space, we end up getting 2x equals negative 1 plus or minus the fourth root of 30. And then it's 2 times x, so I would divide both sides all by 2. And this right here is your answer to the problem. OK, um, since it appears as though there are still some problems, and I wouldn't mind going over them, I'm going to have to stop for right now. And when I come back, we will finish up with some more examples here on 7.1.